Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I am here with Game 3, the deciding game between the 1991 New York Yankees and the 1968 Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> In case you are unaware of what has happened so far in this series, first of all, this is a round one of my round robin games. And it's a best of three series in round one between usually a bad team from the past and a good team from the past. In this case, the good team is the 68 Orioles, who were 91 and 71. And the bad team is the 91 Yankees, who had the opposite record of 71 and 91. And if you are unaware of what has happened to this point, Baltimore won game one in a serious blowout, 9-1. to one, Behind the pitching of Dave McNally. Scott Sanderson started that game, but only went one, gave up four hits, three home runs, and three earned runs in the first and was replaced by a bevy of release, relief pitchers after that. But Game 2 was a masterful pitching performance by none other than Jeff Johnson, who pitched seven and a third innings, gave up six hits, struck out five, walked only three, and gave up no earned runs. He got the win, and then relief held on, uh, with relievers uh, Habian and Howe coming in to nail it down after that. And the Yankees winning that game 2-0. And so now we are here. We find ourselves in Game 3 back in Baltimore. And we'll start off with Roberto Kelly pitching today for the uh, Baltimore Orioles will be Tom Phobos. Tom Phobos in 1968 was 15 and 15 with a 262 earned run average. And here's Roberto Kelly and he pops out to second. That brings up Steve Sachs and Steve Sachs gets a 411 which is a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman for the Orioles is a three. That is a seven. Seven and three is an out, two away. So Sachs is out, and that brings up Don Mattingly. Donnie Baseball gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to center. And the Yankees go 1-2-3 in the first. Go to the bottom of the first. Paul Blair, and pitching for the 91 Yankees will be Greg Cataray. Surprisingly, or maybe not so much, he was the best pitcher I could find to start Game 3 for the Yankees. 4-5 is a strikeout. So Blair is retired. That brings up Don Buford. He gets a 2-6, which is a triple 1-4 to four or a single. And that's going to be a single. So Buford's aboard with the first hit of the game. And he's 4 for 8 in the series as well. Cateray with his first hit allowed. Frank Robinson comes up, and he gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball to center. And that brings up Boog Powell. Boog gets a 6-4, and that's a ground ball, second base C, and he is out. No runs for Baltimore in the first. We go to the top of the second. Moss, Kevin Moss, no Moss is up, and he gets 2-7, which is a walk. Right in the middle of a very bad column, he gets a walk. And he has walked four times in this series already. Phobos with his first base runner allowed. That brings up Jesse Barfield. He gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a fly ball to right field, one away. Matt Noakes is up. Matty Noakes gets a single. The Yankees have two aboard with only one out. A 
Mel Hall is up. He gets a 4-7, which is a walk. So the Yankees have a uh, rally going here. We got Mel Hall on with a walk. Bobus walking his second man of the game. The bases are loaded with one away and Pat Kelly up. He gets a 5-3. That's a ground ball to the pitcher and he's a 2. So this could be a double play. No, it won't be. It's a 3-2, which is an out one. They played the infield back. They know they have a good offense. So Pat Kelly gets out, but knocks in a run. And that is a run allowed by Phobos. And then we have 1-6 for Elvero Espinosa, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. But the Yankees got a run. They strike for a run and they take the lead. And it would be something, wouldn't it, to see the bad version of the Yankees. Or a bad version of the Yankees advance to the next round. Davey Johnson up. He gets a 6-6. That's a strikeout. First strikeout for Cataray. Kurt Bluffery is up. He gets a 4-6, or 4-7, sorry. 4-7 is a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 2. That's Pat Kelly. That's a 17. It's going to be an out. And Bluffery is out. And that brings up Brooks Robinson. Brooksy gets a 4-7. And that is a ground ball to second base. That is Kelly. He's a two. That's an 18 and two. And still an out. So. Brooks Robinson four for nine on the series. No runs come in for Baltimore there. The Yankees still maintain a one nothing lead. And Roberto Kelly up at the plate. And he flies out to center. Steve Sachs is up. He gets a 4-11. That's a ground ball to the first baseman, Boog Powell. He's a 3. That's a 5 and a 3. That'll be an out. And up steps Donnie Mattingly. He gets a 4-8. That's a walk. Mattingly taking the free pass. And now the king of free passes, Moss, steps up to the plate. And he gets a 1-5, which is a walk. Ball four. Ball eight. Not surprising. That's only the fifth one he's had this series. And it's the fourth one issued by Phobos in this game. Jesse Barfield up 6-10 is a fly ball to the center fielder. That's Paul Blair. He's a 2. And that is a 6. And that will be an out. And... Let me see how many outs is that. That is, I think that's only one out. So two runners on, one out. Matt Noakes up. That's a 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight is a fly ball to the right fielder. He's out. And that brings up Mel Hall. And Mel Hall gets a 3-7, which is a double one to seven or a single. That's going to be a single double asterisk and knocks in run one, one run. That's the second run allowed by Phobos. Pat Kelly up. He gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball B. But the Yankees strike for another run and they lead 2-0 here now. Andy Etchebarren's up 6-7. That's a fly ball to center. One away. Mark Belanger comes up. He gets a 2-3, which is a walk. The worst hitting Oriole gets on by a walk. He was also the only man to be pinch hit for for the Orioles in this series. And that's only the second base runner allowed by Cataray. Paul Blair up. He gets a 2-8, which is a pop out to second, two away. And 
Don Buford is up and he gets a double one to seven single double asterisk. And he does get a double. And I don't know if they're going to try to send Belanger. They will. One to 15, they're going to try to send him home. And he does score. So that's going to be an RBI by Buford. They weren't taking any chances. They know they have to have runs. That's another hit. And the first run given up by Cataray. And Frank Robinson up, and he walks. So now the, the birds have two on with two out. And all of a sudden, Cataray starting to have some Control problems, Boob Powell up, and he gets a 5-8, which is a double 1-9 to nine or a single. And that's a double. Boob Powell doubling in the tying run. Really is what's going on here. So Cataray now is in a little bit of trouble. He was cruising, and now all of a sudden the game is tied. And Davey Johnson's up. And he flies out to left for the final out of this inning. But the birds tie it up in the bottom of the third at two apiece. Alvaro Espinosa is up and he gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball. Roberto Kelly is up. He gets a 1-12, which is a fly ball to uh, the left fielder. That's fly ball A. Two out. Steve Sachs up. He gets a 2-4, which is a line out to the shortstop. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Tied at two. Kurt Bleffery up. He gets a 2-10, which is a walk. Cateray walks. His third batter of the game, Brooks Robinson comes up. He gets a 6-10. That's a fly to center. That's Roberto Kelly, who's a 2. And that is a 4. 4 and 2 is an out. One away. Fly out to center for Brooks Robinson. Andy Etcheberrin gets a 2-7, which is a double 1 to 14 or a single. And that is going to be a double. So now the O's with only one out have runners at second and third. And there's going to be some movement in the Yankee bullpen. Eric Plunk gets up for the Yankees in the pen. Mark Belanger up. The Yankees with only with only one out here. The Yankees are going to play the infield in. Try to cut off the run at the plate. 6-3 is a ground ball B, two away. Belanger was out. And Paul Blair is up. 6-7 is a fly ball to center. So, he doesn't give up any more runs, but he did get into a little bit of hot water there. Don Mattingly's up. Donnie Baseball gets a 5-3. Ground ball to the pitcher. Pitcher is a 2. That is a 6. He's out. Mattingly, gone. 3 for 10 for Mattingly with a home run this series. Moss is up. He gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. Two away. And Jesse Barfield gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. So, Phobos is settling in a little bit now. And we go to the bottom of the fifth in a 2-2 game. Been a very good series between two teams that were separated by 20 wins. Don Buford gets a 2-3, and that is going to be a fly ball to right. He's out. Frank Robinson gets a 
which is a walk. Cataray walking another man. Boog Powell gets a 2 6, which is a double 1 to 2 or a single. That's going to be a single double asterisk, and runners are at the corners. And they really need a strikeout here, so they're going to bring in Plunk right now. Cataray only goes, um, well, first of all, let me write in Plunk. Cataray only goes four and two thirds, four and a third, four and a third. Gives up five hits, four walks, and two earned runs. And he's responsible for the two runners that are on with Davey Johnson up at the plate and one out and the infield in for the Yankees for seven is a single one to ten and that will be a line out to the shortstop so Davey Johnson gets out in a key situation for the birds and that brings up Kurt Bluffery and he gets a 410 which is a catcher card X Noakes is a four I believe you know he's a three that's a 15 and a 3 at catcher. And that's going to be a foul out. So he gets out of trouble. He gets him out of trouble. Which they were in. No runs come across for Baltimore. As Plunk comes in and shuts the door. And it's still 2-2. Two -two, top of the 6th. Noakes up. He gets a 6-6 six -six, which is a fly ball to right. And in case you're wondering, Phobus pitched 241 innings in 1968, so he can go, he can do the long game if he has to. Mel Hall up, 6-9. That's a double one to 15 or a single. That's going to be a single for Mel Hall. Next up is Pat Kelly. He gets a 1-3, which is a line out to second, two away. Oh. And Espinosa is up, and he gets a 6-9, which is a double one to 15. And that is going to be a double. Espinoza, two out, but the lead runner is Mel Hall. They're going to not try to send him, and that's a 6-7, which is a strikeout for Roberto Kelly. No runs come across, bottom of the sixth. Still tied at two. Very exciting. It's the deciding game, and it's tied at two. Going to the bottom of the sixth with Brooks Robinson up, and he gets a 2 6, which is a line out to third. Andy Etchebaron gets a 1 8, which is a ground ball to third. Two away. And Belanger gets a 1 9, which is a strikeout. And for Plunk, that's the first thing of any kind of recording and it's a strikeout so we'll go to the top of the seventh punk was a starter reliever pitched 128 innings so he can be a long man if they need that not that they generally want to see it because in 112 innings pitched he gave up 18 homers steve Sachs is up though and that's a 611 which is a fly to right the right fielder for the Orioles is Buford, and he's a two. That's going to be an out. So Sachs is retired. Don Mattingly gets a 6-7, which is a pop-out to second. And Kevin Moss gets a 6-9, which is a double 1-15. to We've already established that a couple of times, and so that is a double for Moss, no Moss. That's his first hit 
of the entire series. Fourth head allowed for Phobos and Barfield's up. 611 is a fly ball to right. That's Buford. He's a two. That's a 17. Believe that's an out. And it is. So Barfield is retired. He's only one for 10 on the series. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. Still in a tied game at two. Paul Blair is up. He gets a 5-9. And that is a automatic home run. Paul Blair takes it deep to give the birds the lead. And that was what you were playing with, having Plunk on to pitch. It was a uh, high risk, high reward. And the high risk came through. 4-7 is a single one to 10 for Buford, but it turns out to be a line out to short. Frank Robinson's up. He gets a 1-7, which is a fly to left. And that brings up Boog Powell. And he gets a 1-8, which is a walk. So the Boog gets a board with a walk. David Johnson gets a 1-10, which is a ground ball to the pitcher double play. But not really, because there was already two outs. But the Birds do strike for a run on a Paul Blair homer off of Eric Kerplunk. And we go to the top of the eighth with Matt Noakes up. He gets a 1-8, which is a home run automatic. And he ties the game back up again. First homer allowed by Phobus. Mel Hall's up. He gets a 2 9, which is a ground ball, first base B. Pat Kelly gets a 3 9, which is a fly ball, center field B. And Espinosa gets a 2 9, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. But the Yankees tied a game yet again. We go to the bottom of the eighth, tied at three now. Kurt Bleffery up. He gets a 3 7, which is a ground ball to third, and he's out. Brooks Robinson gets a 1 5, which is a single. Brooks Robinson having himself quite the series. 5 for 12. Two home runs. Plunk with his only his second hit allowed. Andy Echebaron up. He gets the 3-8, which is a ground ball to shortstop, double play, and that ends the inning for the Birds. We go to the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth tied at three. It doesn't get any better than this. Plunk is still out there, and well, right now Phobos is still out there. Kelly is up. Roberto Kelly. 2-6 is a double one to two. And that's going to be a single. So Roberto Kelly aboard with a single. He's their leadoff man. You think the leadoff man has some speed. And he does. He's a stealing A. He's going to try to steal second. And he might be gunned. That's a 15, and he's a stealing A, and Echebaron is a negative one arm, so he is out. I'm calling him out. So anyway, um, so yeah, he's out stealing. And the Yankees did not need that. Steve Sachs gets a 5'11". That is a home run one or a double. Now that's really a bad decision. As now Sachs is on second and they could have had a run. But, you know, you have to play the, uh, you got to play the risks sometimes. Don Mattingly up. He gets a 5-7. That's a strikeout. Two away. Phobus with the K. Somebody trying to knock uh, Saxon, and that's Moss right now. And he gets a 4-9, which is a single one of 18. 
and it is. Doesn't score him, but it keeps the inning alive, and there are now runners at the corners. And Moss has his second hit of the series. Eighth hit allowed for Phobos. And Jesse Barfield's up, and he gets a 3-11, which is a ground ball to third base, and the Yankees are out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the ninth. If the Orioles can score a run here, they advance to the second round. If they can't, we're going to go to some free baseball. Mark Belanger gets a 5-4. That's a strikeout. Paul Blair is up. That's a 5-2. It's a walk. And with that walk, they are going to go, they're going to look in the bullpen and they're going to go get Habian up again, who was up last game and actually pitched last game. He's up throwing in the bullpen again. Don Buford up. 6-4. That's a ground ball second base C. That moves the runner to second, but now there's two out. And so now it's all up to Frank Robinson. And he gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. And Plunk will probably be done when we come back out, but we will see. It's 3-3, top of the 10th. If you can believe that. Matt Noakes is up 6-2. That's a fly ball right field. He's out. Mel Hall gets a 4-10. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 2. That's Belanger. That's an out. And Pat Kelly is up and he gets a 4-9. And that is a single one to 18. And that's a 20, so it's actually a line out to third, and that's it for him. And that's it for the Yankees in the 10th. We go to the bottom of the 10th. And Boog Powell will be facing John Habian, who is on to pitch. So the book is closed on Plunk. Cataray went four and a third, so two thirds. Plunk went five and two thirds. Unreal. But that's a lot of innings. But hey, you know, we're in a tournament. We're in a round robin, uh, you know, elimination tournament. So Boob Powell will come on to face Habian, who only pitched two thirds of an inning last game. That's a 6 11. That's a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman is Mattingly, and he's a one. That's an out. Boob Powell gone. One away. Davy Johnson gets a 6-7. That is a fly ball to left. And that brings up Kurt Bleffery. And Kurt Bleffery gets a 3-5 and he flies out to the center fielder. So no runs. We're going to free free baseball. <laughs> it's all free. So <laughs> and coming into pitch will not Phobos will not be pitching past the 10th so what they are going to do is they are going to bring in a starter reliever because they do not know how far this is going to go they're going to bring in Gene Braybender Phobus pitches 10, gives up 8 hits and 4 walks, strikes out only 4, 1 home run and 3 earned runs. And now Alver Alvaro Espinosa will come out to face Gene Braybender. And he gets a 2-3, which is a line out to 3rd. Roberto Kelly gets a 1-8. That is a single. So Roberto Kelly, or wait a minute, no that's a 1-8. Nope, that's a ground ball short. Sorry, my mistake. Two away. I was thinking it was 4-8. And Steve Sachs is up. He gets a 1-9, which is a single. 
So the Yankees have a man aboard. Bray Bender giving up his first hit. Don Donnie Baseball gets a single one asterisk. No, nine. That's nine. Single double asterisk. So runners are now at the corners. And that's the fourth hit in the series for Mattingly. He's four for 13. Bray Bender gives up his second hit. Two outs. Kevin Moss up. And he gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball to center. No runs come across for the Yankees in the 11th, although they do threaten. And we go to the bottom of the 11th. Brooks Robinson. Brooksy gets a 6-6, which is a single 1-11 to facing Havian. And he is actually going to line out to third. Brooks Robinson out. Echebarren gets a 6-4. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. That's Alvaro Espinosa, who's a 3. That is a 5. I expect that to be an out. And it is. Echebarren out. And up steps Mark Belanger. He gets a 6-8, which is a line out to shortstop. And that's it for the Birds. In the 11th, we go to the 12th. Yes, if you're scoring at home or watching at home, go get some popcorn. This one may not end for a while. Jesse Barfield's up. He gets a 5-6. That's a double one, though. Oh, wait a minute. 5-6? No, that's a strikeout. Looking at the wrong pitcher there. See, I, even I'm getting tired. Braybender with his first K. Matt Noakes up. He gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that brings up Mel Hall. And he gets a 4-4, which is a catcher card X. Catcher is Echebarren. He's a 3. That's an 11 and a 3. 11 and 3 is a follow-out. Mel Hall out. The Yankees scoring no runs in the 12th. We go to the bottom of the 12th. And yeah, Habian pitched 73 innings. I think we're going to let him go this uh, yeah, we're going to let him go this one, this inning right here. Paul Blair is up. He gets a 2-5, which is a walk. So Paul Blair works a walk against Habian. However, Steve Howe is up in the pen, just in case they need him. One runner on, no outs. Don Buford up. He gets a 1-8, which is a walk. And um, Howe is not ready yet, so Habian has to face at least one more man, and that's Frank Robinson, and that was one too many. That's a 3-8, which is a single, and who is that lead runner? Paul, Bla That's Paul Blair. We're going to send Paul Blair and see if he can score, and he can, and that is it. Frank Robinson gets the hit that wins the game. It brings in that was uh, that brings in a, a hit and an earned run. And the Baltimore Orioles of 1968 have beaten the 1991 Yankees. In it took them three games to beat them by the score of 4-3 in the 12th inning of the third game. So I hope you enjoyed that, and that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing up.